Hey guys, how's it going? Kapran here. So you guys know I try to give you guys the most epic games I experience, and I haven't done one of these why you'd never give up a game in a while, but I absolutely found the perfect game to show you guys. You know, in Hearthstone, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't go your way, but that doesn't mean you should give up. That doesn't mean you should have the defeatist attitude that, honestly, even I sometimes have. But sometimes I stand tenacious. I realize that there is some real chance I can win with some good luck, with some certain plays of my opponent, maybe uh, misplaying a little bit. There's a few things that you can't always count on, but it's worth the try. And the trying aspect really is realized in some amazing games. And probably the best example of that I want to show you today. So never give up on your Hearthstone games. And uh, well, you can see just how glorious it is in some of these situations when you don't. So check out the clip, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Again, it's not its not a big deal that I lost that game. Like, I was on low health for a really long time. It's, I think he was probably likely to draw damage. So losing is, is not what I'm upset about. I'm upset about that fucking card again. Oh god, that hand's terrible. Really? I mean, my original hand had only four cost minions. This has only five cost minions. And a seven. Well, turn two zombie chow isn't great either. I don't know, should I attack that three times? Take an extra six. It'll hit me for four. I'll take I'll take ten. Take ten and heal for five. What am I supposed to do? I, mean, I have nothing. Here we go. Here we go. This is bullshit, dude. I mulliganed every card in my opening hand, too, like... Wow, four draw. I went first and played something on turn five at seven and one against the mage. Do you think I can win that game? Bet your ass I can't. Just kill every minion with the sword. This is unluckier than that druid I played at like seven zero. He actually had a play on turn four. Oh wow, that's really good for me. Okay, we can heal, I guess. So if he doesn't have removal, I can shadow cast for the heal bot on ten, but I don't think I can successfully use it before that. I am freed from the curse. Walk on the wild side. Okay. Well, if he if he couldn't kill the first one, then it should be good. What? Flame strike's no good here. I'm not lonely anymore. Nice try, worse on commander. He might not attack into anything. His trades suck, so that'd be very good for me. Scaled? Not yet. I think he's got flame strike. Join 
or die. <laughs> Turns out this guy's late game is pretty good as well. So he has flame strike and wants to get this damage in. Can't really stop him very easily. I feel like I'm playing a ranked deck right now. Deathwing, Frost Nova, and Frost Bolt to Freeze Face. These are things that you do not see in Arena. Oh, got garbage. Can I light your fire? Yeah, it's over now. The bomber plays are far too risky. I could actually win doing this. It's not very likely, but I could. With the storm wind, my two guys do challenge the deathwing. Could win. Looks like he's gonna try to top deck direct damage. How much damage do I have? I have 10 there. 16, 19. There's no one card that I would win with. So playing the bomber is a bad idea. We have many secrets. Okay, let's think about it. The ogre might not get an attack in. I'm going face. I'm re-daggering. This is going face. So the question is, if I trade, do I need the bomber? If the ogre misses, I actually do. It's fine. No! Okay. Is that a comeback? I'm pretty sure that's a comeback. I'm pretty sure we just fucking wrecked that guy. <laughs> Easy game, guys. Easy game. Never give up. He's probably crying. Yeah, might be. Yeah, that is that type of game. Yeah, dude, I did almost crap my pants when the bomber almost hit me the second time there.